Yo, what's going on everybody? The hat is where it's at. Yes, I'm actually busted out the damn tiger hat. It's been a while. My hair is going freaking nuts right now. Yo, Cliff Jumper 1984 Red Rocks, your favorite alcoholic Autobot. Yes. I'm coming a fan more of uh, Pat the NES Punk. I share a lot of the views that he has on most games, a lot of games he talks about and stuff like that. And I pretty much, it's not like I found him after I started doing what I'm doing, so it's not like my channels, I don't try to mold my stuff out of anybody else. It's just because, like, you know, I guess some of the things, it was like, well, you drink beer, you know, angry video game nerd did that. Now, probably I drank a lot more beer than that, you know, I'm not going to call him a motherfucker, I was about to, but I drank a lot more beer than he's ever did. No offense to him, I mean, I'm not sure, you know, oh, wow, I drank a more beer, yeah. No big deal. I, don't, I just don't want to think I'm, my style is bit off anyway, but that's not why I'm here. Back to Pat the NES Punk. I've been watching uh, excerpts of... Excerpts? Excerpts? Uh, yeah. His CU podcast. And there was something that came up because it goes on my YouTube feed. And it was something about the flash carts and using like the flash cart inserts for your cart when using it on your console. And just like my views of guess of that as well as that R word. Yeah. And that E word. Yeah. Um flashcards and, and those words ROM and emulator. Uh I have not used much flashcards at all. I've known people I have, I played them, but with the same thing of what they were saying about it and with how gaming is now with collecting and rarities and stuff like that I don't know what the big fuss is again with like Nintendo's not making money again if I was to go get an NES emulator and let's think of you know a game that's kind of expensive kind of expensive let's see uh Little Samson Little Samson yes and I bet I beat that game yeah not on court Oh, please, sorry. I don't want to go to jail. I don't want to go to jail. Don't find me, please. I don't need handcuffs. Uh, actually, they had a copy of this down here at uh, Just Press Play, $600. No, I didn't buy it. I wish I did. It's a good game, too. But anyway, I want to play that. Where am I going to be able to buy it right now that Nintendo will make a profit? That, you know, they sold the game. It was, what, at the last couple months, year or so of the NES's lifespan, but Nintendo will not make any money. I understand the legality of certain things, don't get me wrong. My sister's actually a district attorney. She's actually younger than me. But, like, she will even probably tell me that that's wrong and illegal in some sort of way. But, again, it's just like, why? Some people think it's like, well, if you have the game on... You know, physical court, you can have the ROM for 24 hours. Again, why? I mean, if I've got, I've got over 150 NES games, why can't I have them on a ROM file? It doesn't make any sense. Even for games you don't own, it really just blows my mind. And I don't like the people that make a big deal about it. It shouldn't be a big deal. As a gaming community, we should all embrace the ROMs and be able to go back. And of course, you know, oh, you want to go play back the stuff you had or you didn't experience? Go buy it. Some people don't have the availability to it. They don't have the internet. You know, I, uh, you know, as times, as ways they come in, are coming now, maybe people do have the internet, of course, more than back then. But not everybody does. The availability to buy something online isn't always there. Not everybody has retro stores. You have your Game Stops. What does Game Game Stops? You know, just if they didn't already liquidate, getting rid of all their PS2 and regular Xbox, you know, stuff and GameCube, it's long gone. You're not going to get retro gaming in a lot of communities. I'm lucky to have what I've got four to five to, you know, if you even say like two independent guys, like seven like stuff within 25 miles of my house that are retro stores you can call that that blows my mind you know a lot of people don't get that it's just it's really sad and i use a lot of roms and emulators when i do some of my uh 
reviews of certain things or if I just like my video game pickups if there are a lot of the NES games I do an episode of me playing it real quick on that it's so much easier than hooking your NES up through uh, that box on your computer it's ah, if I got a hyper cam it you know it maybe I'm just putting myself out there as the kind of producer and the editing stuff that I do in here but it's just my quick thoughts about it I don't see an issue to it. Again, no one's making money or losing money on it if you're doing it. At least, you know, pretty much anything right now. If you can get the emulator easily without anything and the ROMs for it, nobody's losing money. Nobody is. Except independent stores, but they're pretty much ripping you off. Yeah. What are your thoughts and feelings below? This is actually a topic I wish I would have done a long time ago, but throw that shit below. You know, let me know. Like the son of a bitch. Drink a beer on me. Hey, I'll check you guys out next time.